Hello, I'm Stephen Murray, the Stellaris Game Director, and you can't see me because... I'm cloaked! No, I'm not uncloaked. Earlier this week, we announced that the first Contact Story Pack is arriving later this quarter, alongside the 3.7 Canis Minor update. Today, we'll combine a quick summary of some of the features and go into why we wanted to do the Story Pack. We've been eager to expand the interactions you have with pre-FTL civilizations for quite a while. Some of the designs in First Contact date back to things we wanted to explore back during Federations, Nemesis, and Overlord. After some consideration, we decided that they had a strong enough theme to expand into the core of a full story pack. The last few years have featured a handful of relatively dark expansions. Necroids, Nemesis, Overlord, and Toxoids all leaned towards authoritarian or dystopian themes, and while Aquatics was more neutral, we felt that it was time for a more positive utopian release. The pre-FTL experience in Stellaris has generally not been a wonderful one. Utterly at the mercy of more advanced civilizations, they were eaten, enslaved, purged, and once in a while, peacefully integrated. If left to their own devices, they often destroyed themselves in a blaze of nuclear fire or met their end to asteroids. It was a tough life. As with how one of our goals with Overlord was to make vassalization more enjoyable as either the Overlord or the subject, we wanted to make interactions with pre-FTL civilizations more interesting and robust. There should be valuable reasons to consider observation and non-interference, but we also wanted to take the chance to make the interactions you do have with them more meaningful and update them to utilize game systems that have been added over the years. Pre-FTL civilizations now progress through the technological ages in order, with more ways to influence their progress, and allows you to do things like partially enlighten a civilization before choosing other approaches to dealing with them. We've also introduced an awareness level that can affect things like how quickly they advance and what kind of interactions you can perform with them. Old events have been brought up to our current standards, and some of the observation missions previously located on the observation post are now split between diplomacy and espionage for various overt or covert activities. We're also adding some incentives for keeping them around and preventing them from being culturally contaminated by more advanced civilizations. While the spacefaring civilizations generally agree on some things like the basic laws of physics and the existence of the number zero, sometimes the path not normally taken can reveal unexpected results. We've added a lot of origins since Federations, and three more will be in first contact. While Knights of the Toxic God may still be the most verbose origin, all three of these are lower tech starts with strong narrative and mechanical themes. Broken Shackles is one of the ideas that started back in our Federation's Origins brainstorming documents, then called Escaped Slaves. Originally conceived of as a mechanically focused challenging origin with unique starting conditions, we nearly put it into Overlord before deciding that there was so much more potential to explore with the story. The Payback origin was first conceived as an origin to fulfill the trope of a plucky civilization defeating an invading alien force. The event art associated with this should be familiar if you watch the announcement trailer. During development, we thought, wouldn't it be interesting if these two origins were linked with the same empire as their nemesis? This brought us Minimar Specialized Industries, the galaxy's most noble megacorp, selflessly taking it upon themselves to bring countless civilizations into the space age for a small fee. We explore the fine line between paranoia and prudence in fear of the dark. We initially considered this one a challenging origin as well, but as we added more and more to it, we decided it's different rather than difficult. How do you think we would react if one day Venus exploded? The content designers that worked on these will be telling you more about this soon. It's hard to maintain a low profile when your observation post is clearly visible hanging in the sky. You can try to rely on people you're studying mistaking it for the domicile of the gods, but a more reliable solution would be to hide it from view. By performing research into new areas of field manipulation, your scientists can discover methods of generating cloaking fields around your observation posts and science ships. And while peaceful uses are nice and all, your admirals will salivate at the idea of a fleet of cloaked frigates sneaking up on an unsuspecting starbase. Cloaking was one of the remaining major sci-fi tropes we hadn't explored yet, and it seems like a natural fit alongside the infiltration and observation themes of the story pack. Once we've managed to decrypt our notes, we'll be sharing more details on cloaking and detection. We hope you'll enjoy First Contact as much as we did making it. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, like and subscribe here to the official Stellaris YouTube channel. We'll see you soon for more First Contact content.